Now to the operation, and the success of it rested solely on the shoulders of an elite crew of locally based American forces. Ten in your size, Lori Crouch is here to explain the role of the U.S. Navy SEAL Team 6. Tom, these warfare operators from Naval Special Warfare Development Group, also known as SEAL Team 6, are experts in counterterrorism. Black operatives who move with the highest level of classification, only small groups of people are in the know. Following 9-11, DevGrew SEALs deployed to Afghanistan with a joint task force for the sole purpose of finding Osama bin Laden. Nearly 10 years later, they succeeded. They are highly specialized, almost mythological. It was only when Maersk, Alabama Captain Richard Phillips was rescued two years ago, SEAL Team 6 melted into our vocabulary. I asked Richard, I said, I'm going to go talk to the media and to the nation. Is there anything you would like me to say? And I'm going to quote him. John, I'm just the byline. The heroes are the Navy, the SEALs, and those that have brought me home. Off the fantail of the USS Bainbridge, rocking in the seas, SEAL snipers took positions. When they saw the pirates had a gun on Phillips, they fired. Three shots, three pirates killed. Praise from the public followed for the faceless, nameless heroes. If we do it properly, we'll move on to something else. To say SEAL training is tough is an understatement. The dropout rate for the 21-week course is nearly 70 percent. Not all SEALs rise to DevGrew's level. Those warriors, how they train, no one on the outside will ever know. And no one will ever know what exactly took place in those 40 minutes when the SEALs stormed bin Laden's compound. We've learned the commanding officer congratulated his team, but told them to keep the details to themselves. With all the attention, the military remains sensitive about their existence. A grateful nation, though, thankful to acknowledge it. I'm glad the SEALs went in there and did it. SEAL Team 6 is elite group. Now we've learned the SEALs had been practicing for this operation since April. They built a replica of the compound at Bagram Air Base. Lori Crouch, 10 on your side.